All right. Time to play some more mod at Skyrim. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was trying to get. I was trying to get Brynjolf to talk to me, but I think Brynjolf is kind of fucked. I think. What I do instead. Probably finish up that part of the quest. Like, took the statue from the shrine of Devella, but never gave it to the guy who asked me to take it in the first place. Though, what? Oh, Newt Newt. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Man. Bloodiest beef in the reach. Bloodiest beef in the reach, thank you. How about a septum? Wait, make that two septum. I feel like living it up. Give it to me quickly before they see us together. You've riled up the priestesses, and the guards don't take kindly to that. They're dead. Here's your share. Nicely done. These priestesses are dead, homeboy. Oh I killed them. But, sure, I guess. They very distinctly remember. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Hi, hydrate or dihydrate, that's fucking right. Yes. Yeah. Shut up, phone. No one wants to hear your nonsense. Heard they were forming a dawn guard. Vampire hunt. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's do this one. Why? Because I like doing side quests instead of the real quests. Because those are more fun. Just kidding, they're not fun. I just... Fucking weird. I didn't want to do that. Uh... Gosh dang it. Joining up myself. Okay, I don't know where that marker is. Let's try that one. Oh yeah, there it is. No. 
Z, Z, Z. My back hurts from sitting in my in my chair for too long and gaming too much. Giga Chad gaming side quests are sexy. Yes, I'm sorry your back hurts though. It's kind of my fault. <laughs> I was like, you want to live stream? Look at the sky. Look at the pretty sky. Ooh, look at it. Let's bask in the glory of the sky. Ah, oh, look at the stars. Oh, there's a dragon. Uh, <laughs> Hello, dragon. Oh, man. This is one of my mods, by the way, the sky. I have a lot of mods installed. Look, that dragon is ruining my view. <laughs> All right, where's the earth dragon? Where'd he go? Where's the- Oh shit, there he is. Die, dragon, die! I wanna take your soul. Uh, also, more diverse dragons are also part of one of my mods. So there's more different types of dragons. And then a pretty sky, and the weather, lots of things. Alright, give me your soul. Aw, oh, Nigo, homeboy, I need you to carry some shit here in a second. Hmm. Is there Thomas the Tinger or Sand Summer or Shrek? Have you seen the, the mods with the Thomas the Tank Engine as the, like, the dragons are Thomas the Tank Engine? Is that what you're referring to? Because the answer is no. I didn't put any funny mods in here. I just put or <laughs> No, I didn't put any funny mods. I'm so sorry. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. I know those are fantastic though. The ones with the dragons as weird things. Look at how much gold I have, damn. You have this plate too, Anigo. Uh, you have two of these daggers. Do you want the sword? This warhammer? That should be good. You can. I just give you. Can I give you the? Please, you know you have a lot of arrows. Ever quite That's a nice bow you got, Inigo. Uh, you can have that one too. All right, thanks, homeboy. My friend, Skyrim is a big and often confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear, that map you have is special. Let me show you. My brother once found one just like it on the remains of some poor old adventurer in Citadel. It does not only mark the morrowind, I think. It can also show the position of items and people too. Watch this. Winter Oblivion? Are you in a go? There. See? I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? Thank you, Inigo. No problem. I am always happy to help. 
Love you, homie. Honey, what are you thinking about right now? You know, my mind is as blank as your expression right now. Uh, no offense. No offense. Thanks. Oh, well, he didn't insult Olivia this time, so... strange customer. That is not normal with the glowing tendrils of light and the sucking noise. Do you feel okay? A what? Am I sick? No, I'm not sick. I don't know what you're talking about, Nigo. I'm a little concerned, but it I, it should be fine, right? Should be fine. Oh, the world way Alice is gone. Should be fine. So I would go over my list of mods, but that might take a little bit because there's a lot of them. Um. They all do different things. They have different purposes. Now I've been... No, so I've seen Iron Mouse watch Sea Dog stream at the same time as he actually plays while in a call with him and be present but not actually playing together. I'm trying to fig figure that it would be nice if we could do that. Oh, yeah! You want to go in a Discord call then, and we can get you in? And then you can, like, talk via Discord? Okay, let's see what you fucked up. I don't know, I think it'd be fine. I don't even know what lane it's the lane C is though, to be fair, so I'm 90% sure the video on Twitch is like 10 to 30 seconds behind, so whatever I see would occur, would occur 30 seconds after, so our call wouldn't match. Oh, I see, yeah. This is time between the player playing and it. yeah. Oh. Yeah, you'd be constantly like five to ten seconds behind or something. Maybe more. They can do it. We can. <laughs> no, I, then you would have to like watch it on your, on, like your phone screen and Discord or something. Because then I would have to screen share it, probably. I don't know. Somehow other streamers can be caught up, and I'm not sure if it's a program or if the internet is better. Well, uh, I don't know, because I think all streams have lag, no matter what. Like, I think because you're, uh, you know, 
the internet is weird and obviously you're gonna be a like fucking surprise while you're streaming because it's gotta send it to twitch and then the twitch website has to play it on the screen Um, it could be that they're just having Discord, like the share screen on Discord open while they're also streaming. Kill your computer, turn to screen share. I'm sure all streams have at least five second lag and in particular I've seen my streams be like full minute behind. I think your computer just really hates Star Wars. That's... <laughs> That's what it is. Um, for some reason, my computer absolutely loves Skyrim. It just wants to play Skyrim all the time. Like, I've had very little issues playing Skyrim on Twitch. All the mods eat your computer. Oh, lol. See, even with the mods, though, it seems to run a lot better than, like, this game runs better than, like, any other game. It's like, my computer's like, only modded Skyrim. We only like Skyrim. Fuck off, yeah? Only modded Skyrim. You. Who are you to approach the Jarl of Marvel? Can you fuck off? Yeah? Can you fuck off? I'm trying to do shit. Okay. You may approach Okay. But watch your words. Yeah, fuck off, Faleen. I'm Igman Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. I have letters to read. One day I'll start uh, modded uh, Fallout as a series. That'll be fun, won't it? The Fallout, even when I'm not streaming, Fallout tends to lag a lot. Fallout 4 tends to lag a lot on my computer. But I'm not gonna not do it because I love Fallout. 4 is a fantastic game, despite what other people might say. People say, oh, Fallout 4 is a really bad game. And I'm like, I disagree. I find that game amazing. It's super fun. And everyone should play it. Along with Fallout 3. Because Fallout 3 is great. This has got Liam Neeson in it. What's better than Liam Neeson in a video game? Like... Honestly. It's raining. Ooh, it's raining. Where's my horse? Oh, there it is. All right, in you go. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. What am I doing? I'm running into a horse with a horse. That's, uh... Only here, folks, will you see that shit. There's lightning and, and the thunder. The 
it does look like there's a few websites you can stream and have uh, less. Oh, oh my god, I have to. I cannot read this and try to play at the same time. It does look like there's a few websites you can stream. Oh my god. Go. Go away. Dear lord. You can stream to which have less latency than Twitch in the case for me to watch. But most rec uh, recommendations are to use Discord screen share. So yeah, that's what I said. Look, I'm smart for once. Big boy, big rain. Big rain time. Look at me with my wrinkle brain. The computer's gonna get killed though. You know what? The computers can just struggle a little bit, alright? They'll be okay. They'll get there. It'll be a okay. Hope oh, I guess this is my stop. Hey, don't kill my horse, you little, you dick bag. Now I can carry up to 420. Oh. Hey, 420 blaze it. That damn stray boy. Cook. Fuck, it's not the cooking pot. <laughs> it is very bizarre. All right, let's kill some mofos.
That's right, Inigo. That is that, indeed. Uh, did you hear, did you name him Amigo? It reminds me of Amigo. Or of... Flago from... No, so the name of the... Here, I'll pull up the mod thing. Mods. So the name of the mod is Inigo. So Inigo is just his name. Like, no matter if I download load it, or you download it, or whoever, that's just his name. So here he is, right here. This is his. And then I guess I'll go through the mods real quick. Yago. Oh, well, I don't know. Villain from... I don't know how to say his name. What do you want from me? I couldn't tell if that was an L or an I. On the phones, they look like the same <laughs> so we got worm's tooth uh an additional home in skyrim uh foxar or fall false gar really know what this does does something climates of tamriel makes the climates more true to life that call your horse that makes it to where you can Obviously, call your horse, better loot, stones of, uh, stones of Baron Zaya, quest markers. This makes it easier to find all of the stones of Baron Zaya for the quest. Because when you do this quest, you have to find like 22 or 27 of them. And none of them are marked on the map. So you have to like go through everywhere to try to find them. Uh, Magical College of Winterhold. This just makes the College of Winterhold look cooler. Uh, this makes the midden underneath the College of Winterhold bigger. You can wear multiple rings. It makes the Force of Skyrim look cooler. Treasure Hunter, uh, a better world map, so it looks cooler. Dense grass, so better looking grass. Uh, a mine for the player. Rebalanced leveled list. 50 more perk points to spend. Uh, the races of Skyrim makes the races look cooler. Like the various races. Uh, Ordinator Perks of Skyrim gives you um, more perks you can purchase. Magic of Skyrim makes the magic cooler. Uh, this is also has to do with the more adding more perks. Instincts, animal taming. So this lets you tame animals. Uh, bigger armory in the Fort of Dawnguard, which is for the Dawnguard DLC, which is for vampires and shit uh more magic coolness extended encounters so the encounters you get more or they last longer a thief resolved uh, i don't really know what this does but it does something and then this adds loot that fits for the narrative of skyrim some extra or like things to do in game adds more quests this also adds more quests and it has its own storyline. This lets you wear cloaks and capes. Uh, more vampire NPCs that are like Ar Argonians and Khajiit. Uh, this allows merchants to become rich. Uh, more bo uh, like borders or like border guards. Um, this lets you get different types of dogs. This makes the hair look better. More believable weapons. Uh, this adds like a bunch of flowers to White Run. This makes the mountains look more realistic. This makes the water look more realistic. This gives you more different types of dragons. This makes the weather more realistic. Uh, something about making shit at the forge. I don't know. Uh, this makes the texture look better. This one also uh, makes the NPCs like actually go inside when it's raining. And have like real reactions to their weather. And then this makes, uh, I guess, 
your you can make the like it gives you a wider range of options when you're making your uh, character there you go that's all the mods there's a lot of them <laughs> they're all basically to make the game better in some way or to add more quests and like stories and stuff to the game yeah once I realized how cool some of the mods are I was like I went full in I was like oh my gosh let me just download a whole bunch of mods That shit up. <laughs> what do explain that uh sometime soon in a call or something so i guess i don't understand what you mean by that that's what i want That's what I meant to click on. Oops, I did not mean to put that on, but I did. In work mode, I really like trying to do work for Twitch and YouTube stuff more than my real work. My body is ready. <laughs> well, that's because we're doing this for, you know, for funsies and not our actual work. And so doing actual work is obviously, like, not as fun. Um... I think though if we had to do this all like you were you had to do this all the time for a job you would go to, like turn to hate it I don't know I mean maybe you would enjoy doing it all the time I have no idea um I love streaming and streaming is really easy honestly you just like turn on the OBS and like play a game and you're streaming it's it's I know it's for all these other people so all that is a little side yeah it would be nice if we could actually get to the point where we can become an affiliate um we're kind of close we're almost there If it was full time, I'd have so much time to edit the videos that I really love. Yeah. Which I really love, yeah. Um.
Let's do log Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not super great at editing and it's not what I enjoy to do. I like the easy part of it where I just get to play games and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I need to make a compilation of my deaths in Star Wars and maybe you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I would be down to, I wouldn't mind doing the, like, editing for compilation videos. That would be fun. Um, I find those kind of things fun to edit. And it would be all the Wii music, which I think, I'm pretty sure, is royalty free. So, I will be able to... My blank, my mind blanked out. I'll be able to use the Wii Shop channel music to my heart's content. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. And this one has 18, I think. Yeah. Five. Choo. I have so much shit going on. Oh my god. I have so much shit. I need to sell some shit. Like, damn. How am I still over encumbered? Oh, I picked up a bear trap. Damn. Well, I guess I can uh it here. There we go. The mod to give you more space. <laughs> yeah. I'm always over encumbered. I'm like always, always picking up more shit than I need. Alright, I knew I needed to carry some more of my shit. You want to talk? Yeah. You want me to enlighten your lord? Yes, please. Can you take these uh mammoth tests for me? Thank you. If you need anything else, just ask. I will. Thank you, Hombre. Oh, oh, I came. I came the wrong way. Well, at least I get some. Lydia, are you even carrying anything for me? No, you're not. Do your part, Lydia. Carry these things for me. God, you're so useless.
not me verbally abusing one of my followers. Abuse me. Yeah, I verbally abuse everyone around me. I'm just a terrible human being. Why'd you say it like that, Lydia? Come on. You love that's right. Making excuses for my terrible behavior. <laughs> Oh man. All right. That sounds good, homeboy. Looking for my husband, Nazim? No, Nazim's a dick. to the cloud district often. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you don't. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. Is he? Oh, okay, hold on. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of Everyone hates Oh my god, shut up. Everyone hates Nazim. And I will show you why. Everyone who has ever played Skyrim knows Nazim is a dick. Where is he? Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Look at this dick! This pompous asshole! What a dick. I fucking... Ugh. You know what's wrong with I want to punch him in his face. stupid fucking face. <laughs> As he gets angry at a random ass NPC. <laughs> Nazim is a dick. Everyone who plays Skyrim knows, like, that. Okay, I'm not joking. Everyone who's ever. Fuck you, chicken strip. Yeah. Literally, everyone who's played Skyrim hates Nazim because he's an asshole. He thinks he's better than everyone else, and he's really just a dick. As he rants about Nazim for 30 minutes. Poison. Guess I'll keep it. Potion of visit bigger, huh? That person was using that for.
do come back. How do you say it like that before? I don't understand. Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. Maybe you should give it a look over. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Steam is the best. These dragon farts I am carrying would smell better as coin. It's such a welcome, welcome back, Elric. I know he says it in such a way that it's like, why are you saying it like that, you fucking weirdo? Like trying to hit on me? Is that what you're doing, or what's happening? Because I'm not quite sure what's going on. I mean, it's Sessie Baca, yeah, for real. Here, Lydia. My god, why do you always give me attitude? I don't understand. Literally so annoying sometimes. I don't understand. Let's get going then. I, I have something cool to show you. Let's see. Um, Tell my shit real quick and then we'll try to see if I can get him to do it. Don't okay. Really likes our character. I just I don't understand it. I mean, she's kind of intimidating. Look at her. Like, would you want to try to hit on this? Look at this. I don't know. <laughs> Homeboy knows she's a cat underneath, right? I would, of course you would. Anything. If it's work you need, how about shop? Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Get that pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The Thalmor were just a bunch of intolerant, snappy dressers. I wonder why they are involved in this dragon business. Oh, uh, shit. What? What would you have me do? How can I help you, my friend? Can we sit? Fair enough. Sit. You're the boss. The same time we were home. The beggar here. Why don't you give those legs of yours a break? Join me. Of course. Well, so, you have here. attained full dragonborn status. Being shouted at by a group of old men has never been so rewarding. <laughs> yeah, it, I guess so. So we can have little conversations with Inigo, and I don't know if I'm far enough yet. But eventually you can get him to like have a choose-your-own-adventure book. 
Oh my god. Um Yes. I have never been very good though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. Improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Well, I know it is silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. I love him However, so much. If you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. We will see. Uh, oh, here it is. Would you mind reading Amiga the Bird? Okay, but remember, I am not a professional writer. I hope you like it. Inigo the Brave, a tale suitable for any gender and race, at any time. One day, Inigo was walking through his spider farm, minding his own business, when he smelt something was wrong. His nose was the best in the land, so he followed it to a nearby cave, where he found a beautiful woman of unspecified race crying. What's wrong, said Inigo. A smelly troll stole my sister, said the radiant woman. Can you help me? Please bring her back. Inigo looked into the dark cave, then into the eyes of the woman. If she's alive, I will save your sister, he said. Thank you, wept the woman. She kissed him and he entered the cave, bow in hand. He could smell ugly troll everywhere. He soon came to a fork in the tunnel. A little stream ran to the left, and a patch of glowing moss illuminated the way to the right. Left or right? All right. Do we go left and follow the stream? We'll go right down the mossy tunnel. Mossy Tunnel, all right. The Mossy Tunnel was almost as bright as Inigo, and soon he saw movement up ahead. It was a smelly troll eating something. What do we do? All right, do we run at the troll, or do we sneak by the beast? <laughs> it's a choose your own adventure novel, come on. <laughs> Do we sneak or do we run at the troll? Sneak by. All right, we're going to sneak. Inigo was very sneaky, but as he got closer, the troll smelt his delicious aroma and swiped at Inigo with an ugly claw. What do we do? Okay. Do we duck or stab him with an arrow? Okay. I'm gonna duck. used his legendary reflexes and dodged the troll. The stupid beast tumbled to the side and fell through a hole in the cave floor. Inigo heard its neck snap below. He chuckled to himself, then looked about. Where do we go? All right. Do we keep going straight or jump down the hole? Down the rabbit hole. All right. Well, Jumping down the hole. He lightly and looked about. He was in an immense, bad smelling chamber. The sound of messy eating surrounded him. What do we do? Whoa. My computer could ha stop having a heart attack. <laughs> Now I 
Oh, that messed up. There we go. All right, are we going to fire an arrow into the darkness ahead or growl loudly in a terrifying manner? Yeah, I don't... My computer likes to just like, ah, oh, let me interrupt your good times with random bullshit. Don't mind the pie over here just having a little shimmy shake. Fire the arrow. All right. In the darkness, Inigo was a great archer, and shortly after he loosed an arrow, he heard a yowl of pain. It was a woman. Around him, trolls advanced out of the dimness. The wounded woman shouted, Kill the handsome cat. What do we do now? Hey, pie. Oh, fuck. Do we kill the trolls, kill them all, or aim the arrow at the sound of the woman's voice? <laughs> shimmy shake, shimmy shake, the pie just shimmy shake. I think it's alive, I don't... Dumb hope. <laughs> Fuck the woman. Fuck you. Okay. Inigo used his keen senses and aimed true. He heard the woman gasp, then fall to the floor. The trolls lost their nerve and ran away. Inigo could hear that the woman was near death but still alive. What's the plan? Alright, do we call out to her or approach the woman? Approach. All right. We're approaching. The woman was crumpled and bleeding. She smelled very ugly. My sister sent you, didn't she? She gasped. Now die! The troll hag suddenly slashed out at Inigo with a glass dagger. What are we going to do? Are we going to grab her hand or put an arrow through her eye? Through the eye. All right. In a textbook example of skill and grace, Inigo loosed an arrow into the woman's face. As she expired, her body thrashed and began to change. It grew thick fur and hard skin. Soon her corpse looked half troll, half ugly woman. Inigo covered his nose against its stench and left the cave. Did you find my sister? Asked the pretty woman waiting outside. Yes, I had to kill her. I am sorry, said Inigo. Thank you, said the woman. She was going to kill me if I didn't bring her more food for her trolls. Inigo was very understanding and took her to his farm to recuperate. It turned out that the woman liked playing with spiders as much as Inigo. They were married a month later and lived happily ever after. The end. We did it. Well done, my friend. I hope you enjoyed my book. <laughs> okay, if you want to hear it again, just we let did me it. Know. We did it. <laughs> So the first time I went through his book, I killed him by accident in the book. Um, but the second time I got it right. And then they begged. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how the book ends. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was really fun and cute like that. But, you know, that he, if you sit down with him, you can, like, you know, have these little talks. And, uh, he can read to you and stuff. I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, how do you think I'm doing, Inigo? Okay. Uh, take your time. So he's gonna tell us how, what he thinks of us. 
Okay. I will list some of your attributes. Here we go. It is fun, yeah. You smell fiery today. You are okay for gold at the moment. Very interactive, yes. Um, you have never done time in a cell, unlike me. Your travels have taken you to a few interesting places, but much of Skyrim is still a mystery to you. You are essentially homeless right now. <laughs> uh, let me think. Yeah. <laughs> like me, you have no great talent for fighting with magic. As far as I can tell, you are disease-free at the moment. You are good at getting what you want out of a conversation. You are probably influencing me right now. You are strong, free, and single. Your skill with one-handed weapons is getting better. I find that shouting random insults mid-battle always helps. You were saved from the Executioner's Axe by the very force that now threatens this land. You could be our only hope. No pressure. You have great fashion sense. Uh, let's see. Two-handed weapons do not seem to suit <laughs> you. I feel the same way. They are heavy and cumbersome. You are not into politics. More often than not, you are polite and sincere. You do not seem to be practiced in the art of stealth yet. You may know how to open a book, but so far you have failed to learn very much from the writing inside. What have I missed? Oh, you have been practicing with your bow. You show promise. Now, how do I conclude? You are destined for greatness, my friend. You are still fairly new to this adventuring thing, but you are getting more powerful every day. That is that. I hope you enjoyed my insight. <laughs> so the homeless I haven't bought a house yet in Skyrim. That's why he said I'm essentially homeless. I have all this money, but I haven't bought a single house yet. <laughs> As <laughs> strong free and singles, I'm not. I didn't marry anyone yet, and I, I haven't adopted any kids. So. <laughs> oh man, it's fantastic. I love this mod so much. He's great. You want a drink? Uh, sure. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Thirst. It's a very sensual voice. You want me to buy food? I fuck. I didn't want to buy any alcohol. I guess I could get drunk. Let's do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "You you haven't failed to open a book, but you you know." Don't know what the fuck's going on inside. You haven't learned anything from it because you can't read. We're Chads. Lina is Chads. He's great though. I know he like just insulted me high key but he's great the braggart did swagger when he mm -hmm. he told of both battles and gold he Let's see if I can Then he went quiet, his back turned red when he met the shrewd yes. Matilda who said, A 
Shall we take a seat? I'm right behind you. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Something on your mind? Let us go. Sleep. Slowly. 10 p.m. There we go. Oh, shit. I had a feeling this was going to happen if I fell asleep. By Astrid. Sleep well. I did, thank you. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? You know about that? As Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. She sounds hot and evil. That's because she is hot and evil. She's very femme fatale and I love it. Problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But <sighs> which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Alright, I'll do it. I'll kill one of them. I love killing thing. people, so a debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, I do. Get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Alright. I always kill this bastard here. Because he he's a dick. <laughs> Yeah, please no one clip that. <laughs> the conniving Khajiit. A cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. He told me to kill, and I killed. You, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. So I'm free to go. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. Oh yeah, baby. I would like to officially <laughs> extend to you an invitation to join my family, <laughs> the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Go to where he sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. Oh my Don't god! By the black door. Answer with the correct passphrase. Silence, my brother. She's got a husband. I'm sorry to and break it to you. She's got a husband, and he's I'll a werewolf. Jack it up with me any day. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, she's got a she's got a husband. He's a werewolf. 
You can join. <laughs> I'm an opportunist. Alright. You do you, I guess. Oh man, too good. Thanks for that, Inigo. I usually prefer more educated surroundings. This is no Bard's College, my friend. That place helps me focus my talent for some reason. But I suppose I could try to think of something. Give me a song. Think? Give it to um, me. Okay, here we go. The song is over. We have trouble. Aw, you didn't even sing! Just because there's some dick holes over here? Oh, fucking god. You ruined it! I wanted a damn song, and you ruined it, you piece of shit! Now you gotta fucking die, because I didn't get to hear the song! God. Dare you exist in my general vicinity? Fuck off. Yeah. I was planning on heading off soon. I just want to listen to a song first. And then I'll probably hop off. There's the other one. There it is. Yeah, fuck off, yeah? Thank you. Okay, song time. Mind. Fair enough. I will give it my best shot. Okay, here we go. I myself and me joined to sing yeah. a song. We opened right. our mouth and released some words. I wonder if we would be standing here long. We stood and thought and pondered where thoughts begin. Uh, my mind is bare. I was a prisoner of my mind. You unlocked my thoughts. They are unconfined. My armor is heavy. It helps me take care. It'll stop an arrow better than a prayer. We are standing and wondering what is in store. I do not mind standing, but I like moving more. If you pull my tail, you will hear me roar. This song makes no sense, and yet there is more. Life really is a funny old deal. It is everything bad, good, and surreal. I know loss and I know shame. Life may be fun, but it is no game. I like this traveling with you. We have each other's backs, it is true. Thank you very much for setting me free. Mr. Dragonfly is happy just like me. We are a team, I hope you are alright. Mind you, do not trip, try to stay upright. My voice is running out of things to say. I search for words, but they run away. The song is almost over, it is true. But I will always have another song ready for you. It is time to finish this tune I found. I wish my words would stick around. Dum diddly dum diddly dum di oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> you got the vampire disease. <laughs>
says I agree, 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, man. I love Inigo. He's great. Oh, all right. I'm going to hop off. <laughs> Oh, man. It's a great song, am I right? Fantastic song. 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right. God, my... Okay, it froze for a second. Uh, have a nice night, everyone. And I'll see you another time. Bye!